If you don't accept your own flaws, quirks and imperfections, who will? Hey, today I want to share a story with you. The story of the missing piece. This story is adapted from Shel Silverstein's book, The Missing Piece Meets the Big O. And the story goes like this. There was once a triangle who is looking for a Pac-Man shaped counterpart to fit inside so that they can form a perfect circle. Her idea is that when she finds him, the two of them can roll together comfortably. Then she will be complete. She keeps searching her entire life but couldn't find the perfect fit. One day she needs the big O, a perfect circle who can roll on his own. He doesn't need the missing piece to complete him, so he suggests her to roll alongside him or by herself instead of looking for someone else. And because she has jagged edges, she is unable to roll, obviously. But slowly, with time and good intentions, she learns. She learns to lift herself up and flip over, over and over again, until her edges start to round off. Gradually, over a period of time, she becomes a circle. She can now roll alongside the big O, each complete as equals. The story reminds me of two important things. One, relationships work best when two people come together as equals, each content with who they are instead of expecting other person to fill their void. Two, it also conveys beautifully that we all have jagged edges, quirks, flaws and imperfections. And if we want to change this, there's always a possibility. And if you don't want to change this, you've got to be content with who you are. Change is possible with compassionate mindset, radical acceptance and a loving relationship with self. Great, so how do we cultivate this? Here are three suggestions from me. One, work on your thoughts. Negative thoughts lead to negative narratives. What you tell yourself can either make or break you. You know this already, right? When you consciously change this language, you can see a 360 degrees change in your attitude. Two, you celebrate your strengths. What's unique to you is unique to you. So why not celebrate everything that's uniquely you? Number three, show your vulnerabilities. Just like our strengths, our challenges too come with deep emotions. Let them come. It may seem scary for you, but we live at a times where everything is churning and acceptance is at an all-time high. And that's good for us, right? It's time to churn out all your inhibitions and show your vulnerabilities to the world. Believe me, the more you talk about it, the more you yourself will accept it. I'd like to quote Sharon Salzberg here. To know more, I created a series on self-acceptance. I will link to it in the description below. Also, if you need any personal assistance in terms of understanding and accepting yourself, do reach out to me. My details are also given in the description below. Thanks a ton for watching this video this far. What is your big takeaway from this? Do let me know in the comment section below. And if you like this video, you know what to do. Hit a like button and share it with your friends. And I'll see you next week. Until then, take good care of yourself. Bye.